Hello and welcome to the East Lansing Public Library's Maker Studio. Today we're going to cover loading a row stock from CME CNC with material to get ready for printing. We've got our material, PLA filament here. Um, we have it wound through so that way it doesn't get tangled up. We're going to unwind it by passing this through here and here. And we want to make sure the filament goes over the top. And it's going to rest on here and there is a small hole uh, on the underside here that we're going to pass the filament down through and we're going to pull it and right in front of the red trigger is a small opening. We're going to push the trigger down just a little bit. It can be difficult to line up so we're going to take some uh, couple attempts here and we're going to turn this knob once we have it going and we'll see it enter the tube and it should pop out down by the hot end and we're going to turn it until we have just a little bit of resistance. there we go. Now that the printer is ready, we're going to open up our software here in the 3D printer folder and we're going to open up a program called Matter Control. The first thing we want to do is make sure we have the right machine selected. It should say CME CNC Rostock, ours is named the Red Baron. If we need to use another printer, we click on that name and we can switch between other ones that are available. To add a file, we're going to go to the bottom uh, where the add button is and we're going to go into our objects folder and we can type in Lego and here's the ELPL Lego block that will open up and we can see it here in the center of the preview section when we're ready to print we hit export export as G code and then ELPL Lego block is the file name and we'll hit save once we've sliced the file, we're going to grab the memory card from the printer located just to the left of the LCD screen. Once we have the SD card, we're going to use our SD card reader and place the card here in the reader and the reader in the computer. From there, we'll go to our G-code file here, elplegoplock.gcode. We're going to right click on it and hit copy. We'll go to our E drive and we're going to paste. From there we're ready to safely eject and start printing. Now that we've loaded up our SD card we're going to go back and slide it in with the contacts facing us next to the LCD screen. It'll pop up a, the next menu here and we're going to cycle down to by rotating this button until we've highlighted ELPL Lego block and then we're going to press this button in. We'll see that the LCD screen now is showing a target temperature of 210 degrees and a target temperature of 60 degrees for the bed. Once it's reached those temperatures, the printing process will start. The machine's at temperature and printing is ready to begin.